uh, to take the so-called religious mask off of my teaching, my teaching is really positive self-image psychology. That's what it really is. Let's say that together. Positive self-image psychology. Now, I'm sure some religious people are saying, well, Reverend Ike, what does self-image psychology have to do with religion? Some people are perhaps saying, well, Reverend Ike, what does positive self-image psychology have to do with the Bible or with salvation? Self-image has to do with everything. First of all, the Bible is the greatest book of self-image psychology ever written. In the book of Proverbs, in the book of Proverbs, these immortal words are written in the Bible. As a man thinks, so is he. And I've transliterated it as a man thinks of himself, so is he. That's the Reverend Ike transliteration. Let's, let's quote that again. As a man thinks of himself, so is he straight out of the Bible, that self-image psychology. You see, the theologians have done us a great misdeed. And we think of the Bible as perhaps just some collection of theological fairy tales. But the Bible is a great book of self-image psychology. As a man thinks of himself, so is he. And in my monthly success ideas, and I have some of them over here, in my monthly success ideas, which I send out to people, you get these every month too, don't you? I teach you how to think of yourself positively and correctly so that you can be what you want to be, do what you want to do, and have what you want to have. You may say something. Yes, and because of these... Uh... Reverend Ike, I do get them every month, and because of the success ideas, this is the reason why I'm here today, and I would like to express my gratitude for the opportunity to stand here and testify today as to the things that God has done for me that I'm aware of, and that's through the teaching of your ministry. Bless your heart. You see, you've started me preaching, so stand here. But don't, don't leave just yet. Now, those of you who have not written for the new success idea for this month that will help you to establish a positive self-image, I'm going to give you my address at the end of this telecast, and you, you write for this month's success idea. Because as I said before, the Bible is the greatest book of self-image psychology ever written. And then, of course, my good Christian friends say to me, well, Reverend Ike, you know, well, what have you got to say about Jesus? Well, listen to the words of the mastermind from the lips of Jesus for a moment. Jesus said, according to your faith, so be it unto you. Repeat that with me. According to your faith, so be it unto you. What is that again? That's self-image. And here again, your faith is your belief about yourself. You see, faith is not just some religious something that you believe in just because you were told to believe in it. Faith is my belief about myself. Say that with your hands and voices. Faith is my belief about myself. Faith isn't the kind of dynamic faith that I'm talking about. It's not believing in some God in the sky. Faith is my belief about myself. Faith is my belief about the presence of God in me. Faith is my belief about the power of God within me. Faith is my belief about the possibilities of God within me. So you see, some of you probably never thought of the Bible as a book of self-image psychology, but it is. You may have never thought of Jesus as a teacher of self-image psychology, but he was because he said, according to your faith, so be it unto you. Whatever you believe yourself to be, you will be that.
And whatever you are now, you are that because you believe that.